Hello everyone, let's start with a new video of Magento 2 product return RMA. RMA stands for Return Merchandise Authorization. This module is highly beneficial for the marketplace users as customers can easily return their purchases or any uh, particular product purchased to the admin. Uh, by generating an RMA and uh, admin, if admin will approve that RMA, then uh, the product will be returned or exchanged. So uh, to manage this module, we have to log into our admin panel. So, so this is our demo admin panel. You have to go to stores, then configuration. Then you will get uh, under web call that RMA system. When you click on this RMA system, you will uh, get the RMA system uh, fields. So the first field is return policy. Here you can write your uh, return policy as per your need. So admin can easily set any return policy according to the admin. Then the admin name, you can write the admin name. Then the admin email. Uh, so that the mail will be uh, mail notification of any RMA will be seen here. Now the enter days uh, within which a customer can uh, generate an RMA. Uh, so we have set 10. You can uh, set as per your need within 30 days of purchase. Uh, the customer can easily or the buyer can easily generate RMA within 10 days or the days fixed. Uh, according to you now the all uh, select allowed order status so you can select any particular status like complete or you can select all statuses to generate the RMA so if you select the complete then only complete status uh, product can be returned or if you select all status then any status product can be selected or generated the RMA then you can save the configuration by this button so that's all for the admin configuration part now we will move to the admin management part so here is you can see a RMA uh, menu and uh, by clicking on this menu you will get uh, sub, sub menus so uh, the first menu is uh, manage all RMA if we click on this uh, manage all RMA then here all the RMAs will be displayed so uh, we are only having only one RMA so uh, this is displayed uh, and if we click on this uh, view RMA then the RMA products and uh, its details can be uh, seen. So here is the image which uh, the customer has attached. Now here is the product details then uh, admin can also send uh, some message to the, the customer who have generated this RMA and now admin can change the status of this RMA from this drop down and can update uh, the RMA status from here so uh, that's all for managing uh, an RMA uh, so now we will move to the next menu manage reason admin can manage or create reasons uh, for the RMA generation so that the customers can easily select uh, reasons uh, from uh, the list so here is only one reason changed my mind uh, so admin can easily edit this reason this is our existing uh, reason and admin can easily change the reason title and enable or disable it then uh, admin can save the modification from this button but we will not modify this also admin can add new reason for the RMA here is like broken product so admin can enable or disable this we will enable this and uh, save the reason or admin can add any amount of reasons 
or any number of reasons for the RM system so here is the success message that you have uh, saved this reason so here is broken product even admin can easily delete any reason or change the status of any reason by selecting reasons from here uh, this list and can easily uh, change the status or delete the RMA so we have clicked on the delete button so our new reason will be uh, deleted so here is the success message that a total of one records have been deleted so that's all for the manage reasons uh, now we will move to the manage shipping label so here admin can easily add shipping labels and set prices for the shipping labels so right now there is no shipping labels but uh, I will uh, show you how admin can easily add a shipping label so here admin have to write the shipping label then admin can choose file from here uh, to uh, for as a shipping label image uh, now the admin can uh, write or enter the shipping label price admin can set it as per their need now the status admin can enable or disable the shipping label so we have enabled this uh, shipping label and uh, shipping label can be saved by this button so that's all for the shipping label part and uh, here is the end of the admin management part uh, now we will go to uh, the front end and uh, view how uh, this RMA works so this is our demo front end now we will uh, create an account or we can purchase products directly like from uh, this is test uh, category so we will go to this category and here we can purchase any product like we will purchase this uh, product phone so here the product is added to our cart now we will go to checkout So here are uh, different products so we will add this product to our cart so the product is adding to our cart so here is our cart and we will go to checkout and as we are a guest customer so we have to write our email address So we are filling up the uh, information so we have filled all the information and now we'll uh, click on the shipping and now we'll click on uh, the next button so here is the order details order summary and here is the address now if I click on the place order button then the order will be placed so here you can see our order has been placed so this is our order ID and uh, this is our email address now a buyer can easily create an RMA so uh, that guest user can also create an RMA by clicking on this RMA guest login so we have to write the order ID and the email address
and we can uh, log into the RM system so here is we have logged into the RM system uh, here is the success message that login successful uh, now we can uh, request a new RM by clicking on uh, this button and here are the existing RM list will be displayed so here uh, we can generate a new RMA so here is our order ID and uh, price for the order now date uh, from so we have to select this order and uh, here is the item or items ordered so we have to select the item and uh, return quantity we have to enter the return quantity if here is uh, 10 quantity then we can uh, return some five or six uh, or some variable quantities then select the reason here the uh, reason set by admin can be displayed which we have uh, shown you in the admin uh, panel so here we have selected uh, the reason then uh, customer can upload image uh, for the per return uh, item so customer can uh, select the package condition and then resolution type uh, refund or exchange then uh, customer can easily uh, write additional information uh, regarding the RMA and uh, customer can select the delivery status not yet delivered or delivered and here is the return policy of admin is displayed here now customer have to click on I agree the return policy and click on submit button will submit the RMA uh, for the product so here is success message that RMA successfully saved and here uh, you can see the RMA uh, you can view the RMA or cancel the RMA from here or you can log out uh, from this button so we will log out from the guest uh, user RMA uh, account so now uh, we will uh, show you how a normal user logged in user can easily create RMA so we will create a new customer so uh, let us enter all the information uh, regarding uh, to the customer account so we have filled all the information for the customer and we'll uh, create uh, the click on the create an account so here is our uh, demo customer panel and uh, we will purchase a product uh, from this customer panel so we have added a product in our cart and uh, we are uh, going to check out the product here is the scenery so here uh, we are in uh, the checkout page so we have added a product uh, to the cart now we will go to the checkout so here uh, the customer have to uh, fill up the shipping information uh, we will add uh, quickly uh, the shipping details so we have filled all the information now we will click on next so here the order summary and if we click on uh, the place order then the order will be placed So here is our order ID and uh, you can uh, check the order or you can uh, continue the shipping from here or you can uh, go to your account uh, by clicking on my account uh, the customer will be redirect to their account and here under account they can uh, create an RMA from the RMA 
uh, menu so by clicking on the request new RMA they can uh, generate a new RMA so here is the recent order so we have to click on this uh, order and uh, the product will be displayed here so we have to select the uh, order uh, product and we have to enter the quantity return then we have to select the reason uh, set by the admin now customer can easily upload the images then packaging condition uh, then the resolution type exchange or refund now additional information not yet delivered then the return policy of admin then uh, customer have to click on I agree and the submit this message that RMA successfully saved so that's all uh, for the RMA part I hope you have understood how admin can easily manage the RMA and how uh, guest and uh, the normal user can easily create or generate RMA for their purchases so thank you for watching this video stay connected